Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Now, speaking of growing populations, this is not a good one, though. There are thousands of these, uh, let's just say, little pests marching through yards and fields all across Arkansas. Army worms, they can destroy anything in their sights, especially grass and crops. And as Wake Up Central's Michael Aaron is going to show us in a THP 11 morning original, experts say they're especially bad this time of year. Very busy. Very busy. Zach McCauley of McCauley Services in Bryant says the appearance of a certain pest has kept the phones here ringing lately. We are definitely on an uptick of armyworm calls right now. Fall armyworms, part of the caterpillar family, are especially prevalent in South Arkansas. They crawl through lawns and fields, and it doesn't take long for them to do some serious damage. Your nice yard that you paid a lot of money for, that you work hard on to make look good, they will eat it up in a matter of days. According to the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture, fall armyworms often prefer lush, green, well-fertilized Bermuda grass, the type often found in residential areas and yards. And they can also cause major issues for farmers. It can cause a lot of yield loss. Extension entomologist Ben Thrash says you might think this year's winter storm would help control the problem. That's simply not the case. It just completely, uh, you know, kind of caught a lot of people off guard. The army worms are causing major issues for rice farmers in particular, and typical insecticides aren't cutting it. We actually had to apply for what's called Section 18 emergency use for extra insecticide. So what should you watch for? A lot of times they first see what we call window painting, and it's just the tips of the leaves out there, like in a pasture or a lawn, will be uh, turning white. Larger army worms will eat the leaf and stem of your grass. You'll get spots of uh, dead grass. A lot of people think it's just because we haven't had rain or things like that, but it's actually an army worm eating the leaf of the grass. And Macaulay says if you want to win this battle, time is of the essence. The quicker you can catch it, the better off you are. Michael Aaron, THB 11. Now you saw that clip. This year, the army worms, which eat, they damn near devour everything in sight. Uh, like they were saying, they eat up your lawn and a lot of farmers will have crop loss and they're starting to experience that already. So the states where they have gotten out of control is Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Tennessee, East Texas. I mean, and they said the problem is bad and the insecticides that they normally use when they have these infestations are not working. It's even happening in Alabama too. So the, and the you know, so they're using stuff that's not even working on them. So in the meantime, they are devouring um, people's lawns and crops of farmers in this country. It's amazing how much is happening to farmers in America. You know, I'm starting to believe this is payback for all of the things that have happened to the black farmers in this country. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, I've seen these before when I was in the South, but it, it was like, I mean, a real 
long time ago. I was probably a child back then. Army worms. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, a lot of farmers are concerned. Uh, they're just doing what they can to try to get as many of them out of their crops. But how do you do that? when there are millions of them, you know, and you don't have the help of insecticides. That is damn near impossible. And this is happening in, you know, states where it's generally a lot warmer than the Northeast where I am. So army worms are causing major issues for rice farmers in particular, and a lot of residential areas where they like to eat up your entire lawn. Fall army worms are marching through several states, Arkansas, one of them, and they're causing serious damage. The insects, which are part of the caterpillar family, are especially prevalent in the South. So, you know, I guess these exterminators, they're making their share of the money from this your nice yard that you paid a lot of money for can be devoured within days. Days. Mm -mm -mm. So they cause major issues for farmers too. It can cause a lot of yield loss. And they're saying that these crops that they're eating up is usually what they depend on in the fall and winter. So they're being all eaten up now. Uh, the army worms are causing a, a lot of issues with rice farmers in particular. Typical insecticides aren't cutting it. We are actually uh, had to apply for what's called Section 18 emergency authorization to get extra insecticide. Yeah, well, who says that's going to work? You know, I think a lot of these um, crop eating insects, I think at, over time, they just, they must have some type of um, way of just, you know, where you put certain insecticides on them and they're able to just resist it now, you know, and I, I notice a lot of bugs are becoming like that. So ladies and gentlemen, wow, another problem, right? Pestilence, is definitely that. But y'all, please tell me what you think. This is just crazy, all the things that are going on in America right now. It is just off the charts. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.